Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition, back up to the Great White North. There's always action in this ongoing war or several different wars that have been going on in Canada now for the last year and a half. This is more reporting coming from the Dirty News, which, you know, in my opinion, is the best true crime reporting right now on a day-to-day basis coming out of Canada. More shootings in relation to the beef between the Hells Angels and the Rizzuto mob, this time tied to the Hells Angels street gang faction, which is now led by Anna Tupac Atna and his so-called Rat Pack mob. Kind of like the Rat Pack, but they're rappers. Or they have their former rappers that have nicknames on the street as rappers. Uh, Atna is nicknamed Tupac, and his right-hand man, Ali Shaban, a.k.a. Ice Cube, um, are at the uh, head of that snake, allegedly. And Shaban, once again, has been targeted for attack. Uh, He survived a drive-by shooting back in the winter. His brother got indicted for car theft out of his headquarters, cube express and then just last week his restaurant and lounge in suburban montreal antica was the victim or the target of two separate attacks in a 24-hour period on may 16th and 17th Uh, first there was a shooting uh, and then there was a firebombing the next day they have two suspects in custody right now after the second attack but this is further escalation of uh, this shooting war, firebombing war going on between the Hells Angels and the Rizzuto mob, uh, as well as kind of the shadow war behind them with the Blood Family Mafia versus the Quebec City Hells Angels. Um, And they're all kind of overlapping, intersecting. But, you know, this just shows you that, you know, this thing's got legs like nothing I've ever seen Um ever-evolving storylines, friends become enemies who become friends again, Uh, shootings almost on a weekly basis now. It's getting really intense, and who knows where this thing is going to go or how it's going to end, but it looks like Shaban is in the crosshairs of the Rat Pack Mafia's enemies. Before... The spring, you would have said that these enemies were mainly from the Rizzuto street gang faction led by the Celestine brothers. But as we know, one Celestine brother was killed back in the winter on the same time that Chaban uh, had his uh, SUV shot up. And then um, I think there was another attack on, uh, on a property owned by Chaban. And then now we know that Jean-Philippe Celestine, the butcher, has now jumped from the Rizzuto mob into the Hells Angels camp. So we're still trying to figure out where this is coming from and who this is coming from. But both sides are taking fire right now. And in terms of the street gang faction within the Hells Angels orbit, it doesn't get bigger uh, outside of Uh, Marty Robert and Tupac Atna, Ali Shaban, 35 years old, is the reputed number two. It should be clear that he's not been convicted of that or arrested for that. But he runs Cube Express, which according to law enforcement and my sources, is a major hub of um, car theft, international car theft conspiracies with with cars uh, going to the Middle East, Europe, Asia, uh, hot and coming back hot, and that the uh, Cube Express is used as kind of a cool-down location. Um, And Ali Shaban is is Atna's second in charge. His brother, Mo Money, Mohammed Shaban, a.k.a. Mo Money, was uh, arrested and indicted for for a car theft conspiracy uh, early this spring, but Ali was not. Um, but Ali is still obviously ducking uh, on a regular basis now. So who knows, again, where this is going to lead, but I wanted to give everybody an update. The Rap Pack Mafia, the street gang faction of the Hells Angels, under attack here in May of 2024. OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein. 